Hello everyone and welcome back to our Power Automate tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a flow that can validate and reformat a phone number to national and international formats. To accomplish this, we're going to use the CloudMersive Data Validation Connector and then set up an easy email alert to get a hold of our results. This connector can even provide information about the phone number's country of origin and specify the exact phone number type, so it has a variety of uses. Let's begin. From the Power Automate homepage, first click on Create and then select Instant Cloud Flow. Give your flow a name and then select Manually Trigger a Flow and click Create at the bottom when you're done so you can move on to the Flow Design page. This flow is very quick and easy, so the first thing we're going to do is click New Step and type CloudMersive into the search bar. From the list of CloudMersive connector icons below, select the Data Validation Connector with the grayish logo. If it's your first time using a CloudMersive connector, be ready to name your connection and input your CloudMersive API key during this step. My information is saved from the first time I entered it, and yours will be saved for the next time as well. In the connector actions list, type phone into the search bar and select the validate a phone number option below. Once selected, you'll find yourself with two parameters to fulfill for this operation. The first one is for the default country code, which will revert back to US if left blank. I'm going to leave a blank for my demonstration. The second parameter is the important one. That's where you put your raw phone number. Simply enter in the number you're trying to validate, and then you can move on to the final step in the flow. Click New Step once again, and this time type Send Me an Email Notification into the search bar. Then select the corresponding option with the red bell icon from the list of actions below. I recommend making the subject something directly related to the operation at hand so the message doesn't get lost in a busy inbox. For the body of the email, click on the search bar and navigate the dynamic content window to choose the outcome actions from this operation that you're most interested in. For this demonstration, I'm going to ensure that this operation is successful by selecting the successful option first. Then I'm going to ensure the number is valid by selecting the is valid option. To get my number reformatted, I'm then going to ask it to give me the number back in international format. Once you're done with the message body, go ahead and click save at the bottom of the flow and then click test in the upper right hand corner of the page. Select the option to trigger the flow manually and then click test at the bottom again followed by continue and then run flow. If the operation was successful, you should momentarily see green check marks appear in the upper right hand corner of each operation. That means there are at least no obvious errors that would impede the flow from moving forward. To make sure the flow actually worked, however, you're going to need to check your inbox to make sure your new message is there. Go to your email inbox and see if you got the email with the subject that you specified. Just like that, you have yourself an easy way to validate and reformat phone numbers. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more Power Automate tutorials in the future.